time. I thought it looked cruel, but Mark said that if you control the crocodile with ropes, you allow it to go into its natural attack roll, which will exhaust the thing. That's it. Just move back a bit, let him play. From yesterday, saying that crocodiles, you know, I didn't like them, what have you, you know, it must be pretty daunting for an animal to be locked in a pen like that for a while, and then for 20 big men to come in and attack it. Well, not attack it, but get it, rope it, roll it. it must be pretty scary for it. <laughs> I think that that mouth could easily kill me. Easily kill me. Only once it's tied out is it safe to do something about that mouth. Okay, if I can have the guys that uh, we've nominated to jump them They're on this side here. They're now going to jump on it. You ready? Just control, go. You got them on? It's amazing to think that covering its eyes and sitting on it actually calms the thing down. Enough to tape its mouth shut. It's just basic electrical tape. And that's enough to secure its jaws. You know what with that right yeah. there, Scotty? Yeah, I've got a I think Mark was on a bit of a mission to change okay. my mind about these crocs. And Natalie, if you want to come in and take Bill's place on the machine, Bill that's the way. My place, you? Oh, I'd like you to stay on the legs there if you're right. <laughs> and then you can actually feel it. You can feel the animal. Wow. That's the animal. I'm sitting on a croc. You guys comfortable? Yeah, Mark. Huh? Yep. Okay, the sack's coming off his eyes. I can't feel any movement. Completely still. Like sitting on a rock. Oh, I can now. What's he doing there? Was that the croc or Warren? No, it's not. Shut up, Scooter. So if you want to come up towards Now, part of my team's job was to do a population study. We're about to sex him. Natalie. Natalie. <laughs> I'm not doing that. What do you want me to do? You don't roll cigarettes, do you? Doing this study, Mark has handled enough crocodiles to know what makes them flinch, and sexing them, apparently, doesn't faze them. Yep. Now, the vent is up underneath here. Right. And you tell by the size. Yeah. So give me the hand. You ready? Yeah. OK. Roll him. Roll him. OK, so that's the vent there. Yeah. OK, so what you've got to do is you've got to force your, your hand up into that. Yeah. Keep on forcing it. Yeah. And at some stage there, you're going to feel a really solid, like you're touching yeah. a finger. I okay? reckon that's a female then. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, it's a bit big, so this is actually a male. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> For a male like this, I'd expect bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right there. If we, if we get him up here, and he's got the strain of his head there... Go, two, three, go! Just ten years ago, a crop like this one would have been shot. At least now he faces some kind of a future. Being a fertile male, he was being sent off to become a breeder in a crocodile farm. Then something really strange happened. I looked into that trailer and I swear the crocodile looked right back at me. I had made eye contact with an 11 foot predator. Someone said to me when I asked about a crocodile if they like them or not, I don't really like them but I have a lot of respect for them. And I do believe I agree with that <laughs> phrase. Respect is the only way I think. <laughs> <laughs> 